so far this year, we've been building up our library of functions that we can use to solve problems with. So we start off with the basic linear function. We then looked at the quadratic function. Obviously, we looked at trig functions. Okay. Now, in extension one, we also go, okay, well, we're not going to stop at quadratics. Why, why can't we go further? Let's look at any type of polynomial. So polynomials is specifically an extension one topic. That's not to say you can't use the... Uh, um, the idea is that any, well, turn it. So what is a polynomial? A polynomial is just a piece of algebra um, of degree n, we say. So a polynomial of degree n is in this sort of form. So p0 plus p1x, p2x squared, da 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 da, da. Let's define these things. pn cannot equal zero. If pn was equal to zero, then we wouldn't have an x to the power of n term. So therefore, it would not be of degree n. It would be of degree n minus 1. So it's trivial, but it's formally a definition, I guess. Um, n has to be greater than or equal to 0. And of course, it has to be a whole number as well. OK. P0, P1, P2, they're called coefficients. Hopefully, we worked that one out already. The index or the exponent, another word for the powers of the pronumerals. Degree, sometimes you'll hear people say, use the word order instead of degree. It means the same thing. Polynomial of degree, polynomial of order. And basically, it's the highest power, the highest index. And so we say, oh, this is a polynomial of degree n. The leading term, then, is the term that has that highest power. So p n x to the n as opposed to the leading coefficient, that means it doesn't want the algebra, it just wants the coefficient. Make sure you read the question carefully. So if they're asking for the leading coefficient, they just want Pn. If they're asked for the leading term, they want the whole term, Pn, x to the n. Monic polynomial is where that leading coefficient is 1. So we call that a monic. Okay. So if you've got a polynomial equaling a number, usually zero, but it doesn't have to be, we call that a polynomial equation. Whereas if it's equal to another pronumeral, more often we see it as y equals, then it now becomes the polynomial function. So it's a function rather than an equation. Whereas, oh, I haven't written it up there, but whereas if you just have polynomial x, then it's simply a polynomial. Okay. The roots are the solution to the equation. So you have roots of an equation. Whereas zeros, that's the value of x that makes the polynomial zero. They're exactly the same thing, of course. But we tend to refer to roots when we're talking about an equation, but zeros when we're talking about the, the function or the polynomial itself. Mind you, having said that, people do use the wrong word for the wrong thing at times. Right? The interesting thing is, though, you can have um, more roots than you do solutions to the equation. Because you might have what's called a double root. So there'd only be one, so say, say uh, let's think of a simple one. Oh, okay, let's do the simplest we've got. X squared, yeah. It ha if I was to solve X squared equals zero, there's one solution, zero. But it actually has two roots. And those roots are zero and zero. Okay, so, okay a little pop quiz here. Don't look at the answers. You don't have to be cheating. Which of the following are polynomials? Okay, what about the first one? What about the first one? Hands for polynomial? Anyone? 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 No? 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 Why not? Integer powers. No, that's it. I mean, yes, but no. You can't have a fraction as a power. Okay, well, the next one doesn't have a fraction as a power. So, okay. B, is it a polynomial? Who's hands up for a polynomial? Why not? Ah, yeah, well, negative, because uh, you could, of course, rewrite that as 4x squared plus 3 to the negative 1, and then you've got a negative in the power. Not that we actually expand that out, but, yeah. All right, well, well, C then. What about C? 
hands for a polynomial. <laughs> yes, that one's a polynomial. The coefficients are allowed to be fractions, so quarter x squared plus three quarters. That would be a polynomial of order two. Oh, what about seven? What the hands up for who thinks it's a polynomial? Yes, of course it is. Constant numbers are still polynomials. They're just a polynomial of degree zero. Yeah. Well, what about this one then? Is that a monic polynomial? And state its degree. Yeah. Again, no cheating. Oh, look at them all go to sheet. I don't know. I don't know. I not say it is one. Yeah. Ah, very good. Very good. Yes. It's tempting to say no because when you look at the highest power, you go, oh, hang on. But if you actually expand the whole thing out, you'll see the x to the power of 4 is cancelled. We've got 8x to the 4 minus 8x to the 4. So we end up with a monic cubic. So a monic polynomial of degree 3. Okay. Ooh, that was fancy. All right.